We have new details tonight following the Breeze airline flight that had to be diverted to Jacksonville. The man accused of causing the commotion was in court this morning. Listen to this exchange between him and the judge. Anytime you say bomb at the airport, you go to jail. Who said bomb? Uh, sir, I said calm and somebody thought I said bomb and that was a very bad uh um, it was, yes, I did not say bomb on the airplane. See, so I see, spoke with, no, no see, I spoke see. with the federal agents yesterday for about an hour as well as uh, an air marshal. Why did you say calm? Why did I say calm? I said because she needed some calm and she wanted to move seats. 41 year old Evans Sims was charged with violating an injunction his ex fiance filed against him. This is a video of him being arrested by Jacksonville Airport Police last night when his flight from Orlando to Providence, Rhode Island was diverted after an argument he had with his ex on the plane. Other passengers told News for Jax that Sims said the word bomb during the argument. News for Jax reporter Eric Avenier has been following this story since yesterday. He's joining us live outside the Duval County Jail with the latest on what happened. Eric? Joy, lots of things are happening. First of all, uh, Sims was released from here from the Duval County Jail uh, earlier uh, today, I would say several hours ago, after pleading a no contest to violating an injunction. But we get this, we got some breaking news unfolding right now. Within the last couple of seconds, right before you guys came to me, we just found out that uh, federal charges have in fact been uh, he is now facing federal uh, federal charges uh, this again this is just coming down uh, within the last couple of seconds the FBI confirms that they are actively investigating 41 year old Evans Sims he was accused of using the word bomb during an argument with his ex-fiance it happened on Breeze Airways flight 717 a flight with hundreds of passengers on board the people around them heard the word bomb, reported to the airline. A dad and his daughter got up and walked back and they said, we asked to get moved because someone was talking about a bomb. I did not say bomb on the airplane. News for Jack's aviation expert, Ed Booth, is an aviation attorney who has experience representing passengers accused of being unruly. He says Sims' legal troubles are just beginning, thanks to a recent federal aviation zero tolerance policy. The rule is zero tolerance of any type of behavior that interferes with the flight crew, threatens harm to passengers or the airplane. Although the FBI is still investigating the events that led up to the plane being diverted, which means criminal charges against Sims are pending, Booth says Sims can still expect a fine of up to $30,000 from the Federal Aviation Authority. He also says that based on his experience with these kinds of cases, Sims should expect a bill from Breeze Airlines. The cost to Breeze Airlines of this diversion in dealing with the needs of the other passengers last night could easily exceed $100,000. And I suspect they will be sending the bill. Booth says the best way to prevent an argument from escalating on an airliner is to see if you can create distance by switching seats with another passenger. It seems like the logical thing to do to avoid disrupting a flight. However, what happens if you can't get another passenger to swap seats with? How do you uh, handle that situation? Well, you, you uh, ask a flight attendant to intervene. Whether or not Sims said the word bomb during the flight, the judge who presided over his case in court made one thing clear that everyone should pay close attention to. Anytime you say bomb at the airport, you go to jail. Again, the newest information that just came out right before you guys came to me live is that Evans uh, is now facing a federal charge of making a false bomb threat on an aircraft. Again, this just came out tonight. And I also want to point out that I did reach out to Breeze Airways uh, to ask them about uh, a bill that uh, Sims may uh, be getting from them. Uh, they said, but they told me that it was right now. It's too early uh, to determine how much of that, how much of what that bill is going to be like. But again, if you're just joining us, uh, the latest update on this saga that began yesterday, yesterday, early yesterday evening, uh, the latest update to this saga now is the fact that he has now officially been charged with a federal crime. Reporting live, Eric Avigny, Channel 4, the local station. So, Eric, we all saw Sims on video apologizing to other passengers as he was being arrested. So many people had their cell phones out recording that moment. How in the world does an attorney handle all that video? 
That is a really good question. And I can tell you, when I spoke with uh, Ed Booth earlier today, he said that with all of that video, with all the evidence, he says an attorney will likely, the, the best thing an attorney can do at this point is to try and negotiate uh, bringing the cost of those fines down, as well as the bill that uh, he's likely going to face from Breeze Airways. All right, Eric Avigny reporting live for us tonight. Eric, thanks.